Hello crafty friends, it's Navjot Gujral here. Welcome to our channel and today what I'm going to create, I'm going to create this Ludo here and guess what, we have created this Shaker Ludo with our amazing Trasami Sheet, yes. So this is the Trasami Sheet Ludo and this is such an amazing Trasami because you can create wonderful projects yes wonderful projects for any any age group so let's start creating this ludo and let me just show you how it opens here this is how it looks look at this and this is so uh, full of energy so let's play no 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 before playing we have to create this so let's create this first and then we will play so for this uh, particular project we will be needing two of the trasami which is what i first one which is like here i showed you so this is the ludo one all these supplies i'm showing you right now all are listed in the description as well so you can check the description for uh, if you need any of the more information about any of the supplies i'm showing you right now and this is the second transformation sheet i'm going to use this is the watercolor background hash to such an amazing watercolor background so amazing and the color blend very nicely so let's just grab few of the more supplies here so this is the white cardstock I'm going to use to create the base and the uh, rest of the panels as well. So this is like 300 GSM white cardstock and this is so absolute uh, amazing cardstock because this is going to give a good support, a good back to the project here. Along with the white we definitely need a black as well for the matting. So this is the black we are going to use here. So this is like a 240 GSM and this is so gorgeous. This is the smooth black cardstock, okay? So, so amazing. Along with that, as I have created a shaker here, so definitely we will be needing the acetate sheets. So, for the acetate sheets, I'm going to use the 100 microns ones, okay? So, these are the uh, supplies for the base structure we will be required and definitely we will be needing few of the things like the shaker elements and everything. So, which I'm going to brief you a little later on while this video, okay? So, let's start creating this one. Firstly, what I'm going to use, I'm going to use the amazing Dress My Craft paper trimmer here and I'm going to take a white sheet out of the same cardstock which I just showed you in the video here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a panel size 8.5 inches by 8.5 inches. So this is like the base here. Right now we are cutting. So let's quickly do that. 8.5 inches by 8.5 inches. So you will be getting a square a perfect square and then after that we will be required our scoreboard so let me just bring that this is the multi-purpose scoring board by trace my craft here i'm using so what next i'm going to do is i'm going to keep this here because this is like equal from all the sides so you can actually place it in any way now what i'm going to do is i'm going to simply score it it at 4 1 4th here so let's quickly do that yes you have to just score it first like this so i'm going to do this twice <laughs> yes uh, that is easy for me because this is like 300 gsm cardstock now what i'm going to do is i'm going to simply fold this and i'm going to take my agobone bone folder here to make uh, this a good crease over here so let's burnish it very nicely using the agobone bone folder and this is how it looks right now so let's switch to the next part what we have to do here is we have to bring our transformation sheet in the frame sharing the glimpse of the transformation sheet what we will be required we will be required this exact square okay so what i'm going to cut i'm going to just cut this entire blue section as well so let's quickly grab the paper trimmer here and let's chop this off so I'm going to use these for the front panel here so right now we only need this particular section so that's why we are chopping this off quickly I'm uh, keeping that blue boundary from all the four sides and that is going to look beautiful as well so let's quickly do that now now what next i'm going to do is i'm going to simply take this one 
and I'm going to cut this into half yes I'm going to cut this so let's quickly do that now so I'm just eyeballing it if you want to take an exact measurement you can actually take that I have just cut this into half so you will be getting two cutouts here and let's just grab the base we have created so this is the base here so I'm going to grab the first panel here so remove the protective film that is the mandatory step to just transfer our transmit sheets here now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this panel open it and uh, I'm going to place them here making sure that blue outline is out here okay it's not be like this you have to just make sure that you are placing your transformation sheets exactly onto the right place okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just eyeball it and uh, see where I want to place but if you want to just make uh, a margin of that or if you want to just place it you want to use any of the pencil and if you want to mark any of the marks for the guidance you can actually use that now now what I'm going to do is before transferring this particular section to the base I'm going to just reveal this first because we are going to do a little bit of overlapping now now as we are working with transformation sheets we definitely need require uh, water over here so let me just grab a little bit of water here and in base we have used a 300 gsm cardstock so if i'm going to put a little bit of more water so that is perfectly okay that's why we have taken good sturdy base for the same project so that is perfectly okay if i'm going to apply more or, uh, or a little bit of water onto rest of the areas as well so it won't spoil so let's quickly do that now enjoy the process so while uh, doing applying water what you have to make sure that it is going to be like visible like exactly this it should be transparent a kind of translucent effect you will get and let's quickly do that now now after applying water what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a tissue a dry towel or anything will work here so I'm going to take a paper towel here so which is going to help me out to soak the excess water because I have put generous amount of water to cover this if you want uh, to use a spray bottle and spread it with the help of any brush you can actually switch and use that particular uh, way as well that is perfectly okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a dry towel here so which is going to help me out to soak the extra water so this is done so let's just flip this one and remove it perfect oh. see isn't it looking super amazing this is such an uh, amazing project you and your kids and your entire family everyone is going to love this one now moving uh, ahead what I'm going to take I'm going to take a dry brush here and making sure that I'm going to give this a little bit of brush over here just making sure that this is transferred very nicely to the base here if you want to skip this step feel free to do that but I generally prefer doing this step for making sure that I have transferred and uh, everything is on uh, well place here now next thing what we have to do is we have to grab this one we have to remove the protective film here again and why we have transferred uh, this first I have a reason here what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply overlap this these two a little bit okay so what I'm going to do is let's keep this here so then it will be more easy for you to see so what I'm going to do is instead of just placing it here I'm going to overlap these two images so that's why we have uh, pre-done that one that section earlier because if we won't do that if we want release so these two 
of the papers are going to overlap and if they are not going to uh, work ex uh, the same way which we are looking for so let's just quickly grab the bowl of water here again and let's quickly do that same step to the another part here this is so fun love this enjoy the process this is so mesmerizing watching and that um, revealing of that underneath design that is so fascinating watching i hope you all are enjoying so let's quickly cover the entire section you have you don't have to leave any of the space see it's still it requires more of the water that's why i'm dabbing more and more water over here so you have to make sure it turns perfectly like this so when it's done it will tell you that it's done to reveal okay so now it's done and it's telling me that let's move ahead now keep this aside bring the tissue here again same process soak the extra water okay and let's quickly do this wow isn't it looking super amazing this is so much fun i'm going to do the same thing here with the help of brush i'm just making sure that this is like stick onto the base very nicely now what next you have to do is just keep this aside and let it dry for few minutes here okay because we have a like uh, applied generous amount of water so give them uh, this a little bit of breathing time and drying time so this is the beauty of 300 gsm cardstock let me show you so no water comes onto the back okay so this is why we uh, this is why we have taken such a sturdy base here so let's keep this aside and let's just move to the next section here after working inside now we have to work for the outer area outer sections here so here you can actually see i uh, i have created the shaker to both of the sides just to make sure that this is going to balance my game here definitely i'm going to play it with right so it is going to balance if i'm not going to create a shaker out of here so it will be like imbalance thing which we don't want so to balance and to make it equally balanced from both the sides we have created the shaker on the back as well we are not compromising the beauty of this section as well so for creating this particular area what we will be required we will be required the same cardstock the white cardstock which i have used earlier for the panels as well along with that i'm going to grab my another transforming sheet here the watercolor background transforming sheet and for this time what i'm going to do is if you want to take a measurement of them exactly you can actually do that but i'm going to just do it in the easy manner here i'm going to transfer the whole entire sheet onto the panel base panel here okay the same way which i did for the ludo one here i have chopped off the uh, extra from all the four sides now what i'm going to do is i'm going to simply remove the protective film here and let's just transfer the entire transfer me here let's enjoy the process now let's reveal its beauty wow absolutely stunning isn't it so let's just this is quite huge so let's do this now in the same way brush just brush a little bit because we have transferred here the entire transformation sheet so make sure that you are going to just brush it once
how pretty it looks isn't it looking super duper amazing now what i'm going to do i'm going to cut two panels out of this before cutting that let's just dry this for few seconds or few minutes and then we will uh, start cutting this when the paper is completely dried and no water is left i have cut two panels out of that particular section that is like the sizes of these two panels are equal and each panel is like 4 inches by 8 1 fourth inch okay let me just show you onto the scoreboard here as well for your reference so the size of each panel is like 4 inches by 8 1 fourth so both are of same sizes now you can actually switch and choose as per your liking which one would you prefer to be on front here or which one you want to keep for the back so that is again your choice your project your way after cutting these we will be requiring the black cardstock as well for the matting here for that i'm using the same cardstock and uh, all the products are like in the description the sizes i'm cutting two panels here and the sizes for both of the panels will be same yes the black panels will be same and for them what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut it on to 418 here by 838 so let's quickly do that as well So these are the matting panels we have to cut so i have cut one here i'm going to cut one more and this is how it will go so it is going to be on to the top after creating the shaker and this is going to be the matting layer and which is going to the ludo one this is super exciting isn't it i'm loving it okay so let's cut quickly one more here and grab all the shaker supplies to create the shaker now let's start creating the shaker ones here i haven't stick pasted anything yet okay so everything is like in this manner so you are not supposed to paste anything anything right now we have to create shakers and for the back one i'm going to create a uh, without any using another transfer so this is like a plain one using only and only the background uh, transfer me here but on the front i have used these leftovers which we kept aside from the ludo transfer me sheet so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to chop these off these cute characters out of this so i'm going to do a little bit of fussy cutting for all of them out of these two what i'm going to grab i'm going to grab these two uh, characters here then let's play and then we are going to grab this ludo okay so this is the ludo and i'm going to just do a fussy cutting for the same if you want if you can you can actually cut it like this the black with a little bit of black rim or else if you want you can actually go for exactly onto the edge to edge covering only and only the blue section that is like your choice you can cut um, in any of the way which you want to do after doing fussy cutting let's grab all these elements here so we are going to transfer them now onto one of the panel here if you want actually you can um, use the leftover master for the back as well that is your choice so let's play ludo and we have uh, cut this beautiful confetti here along with that as well so that is again another option if you want to go for that what right now i'm going to do is before creating that shaker elements we have to do this so let's place this let's play you can place the uh, these elements or as per your choice as per your liking in whatever manner you want to place them you can actually play with them so here comes the ludo and here comes the cute characters look at them how cute they are absolutely beautiful i'm placing my cute girl here 
and the another one onto the top. As I said, you can actually switch to any of the placements as per your liking. Now, um, you can use the measure, as I said earlier, for covering that large areas. If you want, you can actually simply use it. Or if you want to go and use a water, any uh, brush, you can use that uh, as well. So I'm going to do the same step. Right now I'm using a brush. This is like more handy for me. If you don't have this particular brush, you can simply use any of the brush and you can apply water with the help of the same brush, whatever you have in your stash. You can actually uh, choose any of the panel for the front, for the back, as per your liking, because they all are like equally beautiful from all of the sides. So you can actually switch to any of the side, whatever you want to be uh, placed onto the top, you can go for that. I'm just simply applying the water with the help of the brush here. Make sure that you are going to cover the entire motif using water so as I have already uh, done a transomy coat here yeah I will that uh, paper is covered with the coat of transomy so I'm not literally bothering for the larger amount of water here I'm just applying it very easily because it is not going to ruin uh, our transomy underneath and uh, that is perfectly okay it will not pass the water to the paper now so that is perfectly okay that's why I'm not bothering about too much of water here so let's quickly do them cover them see how <laughs> how happy he is they all are like ready they want to be revealed as soon as possible <laughs> okay what I'm going to do I'm going to grab a towel to soak the extra water here then let's play Ludo so this is our front panel is done what I'm going to do is now I'm going to convert this panel into a shaker so let's start creating that now so here comes one very another very interesting part making our ludo shaker as well from the front and the back and this is such a cute fun way of adding another element to your project so let's start creating the shaker element for that i'm using the same acetate along with that now i'm going to share the glimpse of the beautiful rest of the supplies which we i have used here for creating this so this is like the star and these are like glow in the dark these are such pretty it glows when it dark I know right now it's uh, too much of light I'm trying to just show you but this is absolutely gorgeous product these are amazing shaker slices we have then along with that I'm going to use the crystal clear sequence so they are like absolutely beautiful sequence and here comes the beautiful amazing yummy colors these are like such yummy colors of sprinkles we have we have different uh, families of these as well so don't forget to check all those so I'm going to grab few of these shades for creating this you can choose as per your liking but right now I'm grabbing the shades which are like there onto my front and the um, second panel as well so you all can see that all these colors are actually there only uh, a less amount of purple is there but definitely i won't mind using the purple as well so let's create a mixture of all these things together yeah a mixture of all these things together let's start creating that and i'm going to create a mix for both the sides you can put these elements as per your liking how much you want to uh, put so just start creating a shaker simply okay so look at the shade of this this is absolutely gorgeous let's just grab the pink one here so pretty so so pretty this isn't it looking super yummy 
right let's grab a little yellow here a little bit of lilac and finish it with the blue along with that i'm going to use the stars here so let's put few of the stars and this is going to make your ludo visible in the dark as well so they are going to look absolutely stunning along with that i'm going to grab the sequence here such pretty sequence and i have created a mixture here which i'm going to use for both the panels this and you can put these elements as per your liking if you want to just fill the pocket with more of the shaker elements feel free to use them okay feel free to do them now i'm keeping this aside and i'm grabbing the acetate here which we will be required and this is like we have to remove this but right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to place it here so you can actually see where i'm placing my acetate so it will give you a guide a white paper will give you a guide in any case uh, it's not perfectly visible for you so it is going to give you a good brief here what i'm going to do here is i'm going to cut this uh, acetate let's firstly do that grab the paper trimmer and i'm going to i'm simply going to chop the extra so let's cut it around 10 inches by 6 inches randomly i'm chopping this off right after doing that what i'm going to do is i'm going to just simply grab my panel over here i'm going to keep this here to show you all so this is how it will look now the next thing what you have to do is you have to just chop the four edges here like this so you have to create these triangles cut chop of these triangles from all the four sides hold it tightly okay now what next i'm going to do is i'm going to use a red tacky tape here and let's quickly place it onto all the four sides and this time i'm going a little out as well because i want to be on to edge to edge so that is perfectly okay if you are going a little out of the edge i will just trim that off that extra one a little later on so here you can see that i keep on placing my uh, this motif for the guidance in between let's do to the these two sides as well when it's done i'm going to chop this off these extra red ones here and now i'm going to remove this as well the paper which i just placed to show you <laughs> nicely that how where the acetate is so this that was like little helpful i found that that is like little helpful that's why i keep kept on that now on the next thing let's quickly chop all these now grab the bone folder here this is the most important part of course you have to make sure that you are going to burnish your red tacky tape very nicely this is the most important part actually uh, while working with the red tacky tapes you have to burnish it very nicely always now grab a tweezer so that is going to help you this like little extra perfect so this is going to help you out to remove your uh, this tape now what i'm going to do is i'm going to making sure that all these edges are on to the corners which where we have placed let's start with the these bigger sides first take this one and here what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab my 
bone folder here this is like my ago bone folder here keeping it handy I'm making sure that I'm going to give a good crease over here right then switch to the next one remove this firstly seal the two larger sides okay let's take this one hold it and the bone folders are going to help you a lot <laughs> while creating such kind of projects they are like super duper amazing and they work absolutely fine using the acetates as well so i'm going to just simply do this step onto one side here so let's quickly do that varnish it and perfect see our pocket is ready so now it's time to fill them up using the beautiful sequence mix we have created here for that let's just grab a little bit here let's pour this in let's see how much i want here so this looks absolutely good to me now just keep this onto the end and this is the way you are getting a smooth surface to hold on the things let's just seal the last end take this one perfect <laughs> so this is super duper amazing now what next i'm going to do is i'm going to do the same steps to the uh, panel which is going to be onto the back of to the for the ludo so let's quickly do that now time to grab all the things into the frame so this is the base look at this this is absolutely gorgeous i actually i'm waiting to play Yes, I'm very desperately, I'm waiting to play with this uh, Ludo, which actually I have created and this is so much fun. Now, let's grab the uh, black panel as well, which we have cut earlier. Here, I'm going to use a uh, liquid glue. If you want, you can actually uh, use the red techie tape as well, or you can use any of the liquid glues whatever you have in your stash if you want to add a little bit of dimension you can switch to the foam tape as well but right now i'm using just any liquid glue here to adhere this onto the black panel here so let's quickly do this so i'm making sure that i'm leaving a equal amount of space from all the four sides perfect now press it gently to keep everything on place yes this is like we have created a shaker so definitely we will be needing a more gentle press we don't want to spoil any of the uh, this 3d effect here so after that okay this is extra now if you want this to be here if you want this to be here your project your way whatever in whatever manner you want to place it you can actually play with that now again i'm using the same glue applying on onto the black panel this time and i'm going to stick this entire panel to the base now which we have created using our transfer me ludo transfer me this is so absolute amazing so let's quickly do that now perfect isn't it looking super amazing let's quickly do the this onto the back as well 
let's take this one here and our ludo is ready so let me just share this how it shakes shake 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 and this is how it looks from this inner section so are you all ready to play this one let's just show you both here you can play with them with your family and for with your loved ones i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial thank you so much everyone for uh, watching this if you haven't subscribed to our channel make sure that you are going to subscribe us and enjoy the tutorials thank you so much everyone happy crafting